Hey guys, it's Shayla from True Reads, and today I'm actually going to be doing the Intergalactic Book Tag, inspired by Starflight by Melissa Landers. It's sci-fi fantasy, and it is a fantastic read, and I highly recommend you go pick it up. I originally saw this video on Jesse the Reader's channel, so I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check that out. So this book tag was originally created by Jesse as well as other different booktubers like Kat from Katie Tastic, Sasha from A Book Utopia, as well as some other book YouTubers that I'm not entirely familiar with, but I will leave links down below for you guys to check them out. So let's get started. So the first question is space. Name a book that is out of this world or that takes place in a world different from our own. So for this one, I decided to go with Winter by Marissa Meyer. This is the fourth novel in the Lunar Chronicles and it is an amazing book. It is actually pretty daunting. It looks like it's only about 400 pages long, but this book is 824 pages long. And it's insane because these pages are like Bible thin and it's insane, but it's such a fantastic read and it is awesome. Number two, Black Hole. Name a book that completely sucked you in. For this one, I'm going to go with A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is the first novel in a trilogy that was supposed to be an adult series for Sarah's fans, but it still got, it kind of has that YA feeling to it. But nonetheless, this is a fantastic read. It's so beautifully written. And it's also a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. We're gonna segue right into the next one, which is Light Speed. Name a book you're anticipating so much that you wish you could travel at light speed to get it. The Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second book in the Court of Thorns and Rosa trilogy by Sarah J. Maas. I am so excited for this book. It is right there, it is so close, it is right there. I want it so bad, I cannot wait. Number four, Nebula. Name a book with a beautiful cover. I'm gonna go with Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. I love this book cover so much. It is so beautiful. All the colors that it has, we've got our reds, our oranges, our purples. It is so pretty. It is so nice. I haven't read this one yet, but I will soon. It is on my TBR. It is like right there on the top. But I am so excited to read this. But this cover is beautiful. Number five, Multiverse. Name a companion set or spinoff of a series. The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. This is a trilogy set in Victoria, London, based in her Shadowhunter universe. These are my favorites in her Shadowhunter Chronicles. I really love how it takes place in Victoria, London. I really like the style of it. It is such a lovely story and this is, it's a fantastic read. If you haven't read it, go read it. Number six, Gravity. Name your favorite romantic pairing that seems to have a gravitational pull to each other. I'm going to go with my absolute OTP, Alec and Magnus from the Mortal Instruments series. <sighs> I love them so much. They're my babies. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. They just, they're so, they're meant to be with each other. They're soulmates and it's just, it's so, it's so satisfying to see something so magical happen. You've got Alec with his severe insecurities and then you have Magnus who needs to learn how to open up and let people into his life. So it's just, it's not perfect. And I think that's why I love this relationship so much. Number seven, The Big Bang. Name a book that got you started on reading. So I actually have a really funny story about this next book, and that is Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. So I was, I think I was in the fifth grade when this came out, and you know at elementary school they have the book fairs come to town. Well, so one year they had the book fair come to our school, and this time they actually have a little video to, you know, prepare us to what we might expect in the book fair. And this was one of the books that was featured in that little video that they showed us. I didn't realize this was the second book in a series. I thought it was just some new book that came out. And I got really interested and I really wanted to read it. So when the book fair came, my mom actually bought this for me. I was about halfway through when I realized that there was a little two up here. And I'm like... That's, you know, that, that makes a lot of sense because now I know, you know, there's a first book and so that would probably make more sense if I read the first book because there's a couple of things in there that I couldn't understand like they were talking about stuff that happened last year and I'm like, well it's kind of a weird way to start a book but I want to say this book necessarily started at all but this was a big jump into my reading life because this was like one of the first middle grade series that I really got into and I can't thank Rick Riordan enough for really jump-starting that interest in Greek mythology that I got during that time of my life. 
good story. If you haven't read it, try out the series. It's fantastic. It's, it's worth a read. Number eight, Asteroid. Name a short story or novella that you love. So I picked Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. This is a spin-off novella based, based on the Harry Potter world. This book was actually mentioned in the last book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. And I really love the little stories that she has in here. I think when I'm older and I have my own children, their stories are going to come out of this book <laughs> because it's so fun and it's so whimsical and magical and I just, I love it. And yes, I'm going to totally say this, but The Tale of Three Brothers is my favorite one from this. I thought it was a fantastic little read and I think it's really cool. Number nine, Galaxy. Name a book that has multiple point of views. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This is the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series, and I've actually been reading this one since mid-January, I think. I'm still currently reading it. I'm going through it very, very slowly, and it's not because I don't like it. I'm really enjoying this story. I'm actually, I actually watched the show before I got into the books, but I think the one problem that I'm having with this is that the show is so, like, it follows the books so well that while I'm reading this, I feel like I'm watching the show all over again, and it's, it's kind of hard. But nonetheless, this book is really fantastic. There are many, many point of view. You've got Ned, you've got Caitlyn, you've got Sansa, Arya, Tyrion, Daenerys. I mean, you have a lot of point of views in this book, and it's kind of tedious because once you're starting, once you get used to somebody's point of view, you're like, oh yeah, I want to continue with this, this point of view, and then like it switches, and you're like, no, no. Like, I love the Daenerys chapters. I love those chapters, and there's so few of them, and they're so short. But this book is such a fantastic read. Yes, there's a lot of point of views. Yes, it can be tedious. Sorry about the lighting. But it's, it's a good book. It's a really good book. And the last one is Spaceship. Name a book title that would be a great name for a spaceship. The Siren by Kara Cass. This is a standalone novel of a young girl who's a siren and she falls in love with a human. It is kind of like The Little Mermaid retelling, but it, it has a little bit of a darker twist and I really enjoyed that. Honestly, I think this is a fantastic book to read if you're in a reading slump and you need to get out of it. It's quick, it's easy, it's enjoyable, it's a phenomenal read. Alright guys, so that's all I have for the intergalactic book tag. I had a lot of fun filming this. I think it was interesting to really think about what I would choose for these questions, and it's really hard because there's so many great books out there. Alright, hopefully I will see you guys next week with a new video. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below and tell me what you would name your spaceship. Also, if you would like to do this tag, you're more than welcome to do it. I wasn't tagged, and I still did it because it sounded fun. I will see you guys later. Bye!